Hello everyone. My name is Rosalie and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from New South Wales, Central West Australia. Today I'm going to make a card in honour of the Anzacs. So these are the pieces that we're going to need. And this is out of our Peaceful poppy elements, these pieces. I'm going to use a die, which is out of our um, painted poppies dies set. And the card stock that I'm using is eight and a half by five and seven eighths, and it's scored at four and, a, and an eighth. Um, the glitter paper I'm using. This is just some that I had here. It's not actually a stamping up product. Um, and it's five and three quarters by four. So I'll cut that first with our trimmer. And we'll go from there. I'll see that. Five and three quarters. Brilliant trimmers these, and you can score on them as well. Okay. Alright. You also need a piece of five and three quarter by four for the inside of the card. So it'll fit in here and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold the card in half. And I seem to have lost my scoring tool. Oh, no, here it is. Let's score this. Just makes the card sit down a lot flatter and I'm going to put this on here first and I'm going to use um, tear and tape for that because it seems to hold it down a bit better and keeps it straight How's your day been today? I've been weeding my garden. Just make sure that you press these down so that it's connected to the paper. Use the pick tool makes it easier to undo this. And I tend to I only take them down a little way. Just make sure that one you've got enough room to be able to grab the tag. And you can line up the edges a bit better before you actually stick it down. I'm hoping I do that. There. and then just pull these out. Like that. There. This one, I'm just going to put a back to that one. So with this it's going to go across the top. See that? And 
I'm going to emboss that with our white embossing powder. So I'll need to, and I'm going to emboss it with Always Remember from our Peaceful Moments Cling Stamp Set. it up the right way and hold it on the stamp line them up and then you can take the pieces off the back and they should run out over your stamp like so I'll stick that on this straight okay get it straight now I'm going to stamp it with our Versamark ink hopefully in the middle and hopefully it's straight okay I don't really even see that at all and I'm going to use, should have used the LA embossing buddy, but I'm going to use the white embossing powder and I'll just put that on there. Because I didn't use the bossing buddy, sometimes you get a bit of extra. Well, you don't want it. Okay, I'll just put this back in here. Okay, and the lid on. That's white embossing powder, and I'll use our heat gun. And so just bear with me; it'll make a bit of a noise. Where did it go there? about the noise so that's all done you see that okay now I'm not sure I think I'm going to put that up there I'll just do our I'll bring in the big shot and I'll do
We'll do our embossing. It's already our um, die cut. So we'll just sit it down on there. I like to run it through a couple of times because sometimes they don't cut very well if they've got a lot of pieces. And we just run it through. Have to turn this a bit. all the pieces have come out which that looks like they have <coughs> so I'm going to stick this in the center like so I'll just use that combo Sorry about my squeaky chair. Let me set that in the centre. Roughly in the centre. Like that. And from our elements, these are our elements. We get watercolour paper, vellum, these that I'm using today. And these out of it. So I'm going to use one of these. And we're going to put that in the centre. And I'll put it on a dimensional. Like so, put this on dimensionals and set it up the top. This is, use all oh your yeah. card, just need to just give it a cut. going to put this down the bottom and that will be pretty much the card done so I might just glue that one down like that and the inside, 
So I'm just gonna put one of these just in the corner and glue it with from our elements. like that. It'll take a minute because they're a bit thicker to grab and just glue this down in the inside. And there you have the card finished. Hope you enjoyed that. If you would like to see any more cards or um, like to contact me, uh, you could go to my website on www.rosalielangham.stampingup.net or uh, call me or um, subscribe to my channel and um, and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications of when I do a new one. Okay, happy crafting. Bye for now.